Hello you awesome possums! Today I give you 15 things that you may or may not know yet in Planetside 2. I know, I know, I did something similar in one of my videos so I guess you could consider this as part 2. Anyway, starting off with the first one, how to avoid getting road killed by a mag rider. Road kills, we have all been there. But what if I tell you you can avoid or at least try to avoid getting road killed by mag riders by simply crouching. I know it's kinda dumb but hey, it works as long as you're a bit off center and you're on flat or even ground. Let's just hope mag riders won't get a lawnmower attachment anytime soon. Yikes. Number 2. Getting kills by destroying turrets. This is exactly what it sounds like. Destroying turrets will count towards your kills. And this applies to daily missions and any directives you're tracking. I find this particularly useful for players like me who, well, to put it nicely, suck. I mean this could be handy if there aren't a lot of players around or maybe you just need one or two more kills for that daily mission for that class you barely use. On number 3, speaking of turrets and daily missions, before the update, one of the heavy assault mission is you will need to earn XP by hitting enemy vehicles and good god that can be annoying. Thank goodness because after the update, we will now need to deal a total of 6000 damage to an enemy vehicle. But do not let that description fool you because damaging turrets will also count towards your mission. This is great because sometimes and for some reason, there aren't a lot of vehicles around. On number 4, you can mount a vehicle through walls. Once again, this is exactly what it sounds like. Park your Sunday or any other vehicle next to the wall and watch the magic not happen. Because quite frankly, I have no idea how this can be useful. I don't know, if you do, let me know in the comments. Number 5, you can use turrets as ramps. Now there aren't a lot of places in the game where you can do this, but an example would be the turrets on tech clans. So you hop into a turret, point it up about 45 degrees, and you have yourself a ramp to the roof. Unless of course you're a light assault. Again, I'm not really sure how this helps in a fight, maybe for an ambush or you just want to see the view. But on the more useful side of things, you can essentially do the same using tanks. Well, except mag riders. Sorry. Floor number 6 is you can look around while hacking or interacting. In one of my videos, I mentioned you can press E once to interact with terminals, generators, and so on. Well, apart from this, you can also freely look around as well as shoot your weapon. As long as you stay still, you'll be able to check your surroundings and defend yourself. Number 7. More free stuff. To celebrate another year of Thanesite 2, players can claim their free NS11C carbine and the NS Harrower knife. So you guys know the drill. The code is Legacy2022. They're not much but come on, it's free. On number 8 is you can redeploy while you're still in the loading screen. Now I guess this can be useful if your game isn't installed in an SSD or if you're just an eager beaver. <laughs> I don't know. On number 9, the Swarm Rocket Launcher has a short delay before it loses its lock on the target. This will give you an ample amount of time to take another shot. Just be sure the rocket has a clear path and it should still be able to do its thing. Next is you don't have to open your map to put waypoints or use war assets and so on. Just press Alt on your keyboard and you should be able to right click on your minimap to do these things. For number 11, you can fly air vehicles faster by flying sideways but with the use of the vertical thrust. The difference is not a lot but if you're in a bit of a hurry or trying to put some distance between you and another ESF because you suck in flying, this could be useful. Here's a quick comparison. On number 12, your nanites will not replenish if you're AFK. Normally you earn 50 nanites per minute but as you can see here, it has already been a couple of minutes and no nanites. But I understand, sometimes you gotta take a piss or grab a snack. So one workaround for this one is to place a small jar of Skippy peanut butter on the arrow keys of your keyboard. Note that it has to be Skippy because any other peanut butter brand sucks. <laughs> for lucky number 13, passing over energy bridges. Okay, as far as I know, there are only two energy bridges in the game and these are in Emmerich. If I miss some, let me know. Basically, you can use the gate shield diffuser to pass over these bridges. But of course, do this at your own risk. And besides, during an active fight, passing over these bridges would be difficult and it would be down most of the time. But still, it's worth knowing. By the way, if you're liking the content so far and if you're new to the channel, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I am so close to reaching 1000 subscribers so I'd really appreciate it if you do. On number 14, the Light Assault's rocket rifle has flak damage. Some may have missed reading the weapon description but yes, the rocket rifle indeed has flak damage. This is really useful if an air vehicle flies a bit too low. You might want to keep this in mind especially in trident fights in Osher. Last but certainly not the least, number 15, shooting down Phoenix rockets. Ah uh, yes, the Phoenix rocket and the very distinct sound it makes. 
Next time you hear the sound these rockets make, consider looking up because yes, you can shoot them down. While technically the rocket won't get shot down, but you will hear the same sound when you kill or destroy something. This means the player has lost control of the rocket. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome, possum.